Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird, I'm the designer of Digital One Crystal Screen Paint and Digital 4K Crystal Onyx. Um, what I have here today, and I've been advertising it quite a bit on YouTube, we also have a new channel besides the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. We have one now under uh, Digital uh, 4K Crystal Onyx. Um, I think that's right. All right, I'll put a link at the bottom of the video. Okay, so um, in this video demonstration, I'm going to give you a more of a better insight on the D5K. Now, yes, the D5K is way better than the uh, the uh, 4K uh, Crystal Onyx True Black. It's better than the Dark Silver. It's pretty much better than anything I've ever designed. I really, really do like this paint. I mean, I I like mother paints. Trust me, I do. I love them all. Um, but this one right here has to be my best. I, I think I finally hit my glass ceiling. Well, we'll we'll find that out in another month or two, but. As for now, yes, this, this paint, I love it so much. Now, the one thing I love about the uh, this paint and all the other paints I've designed is uh, you don't have to be restricted to a wall. There's not a lot of sanding involved. There's not a lot of multiple applications. There's no hard to understand instructions. It's really easy to do. Um, pretty much anyone can do it. Your kids can literally paint your screen for you. So uh, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a pro in order to do this. Um, right now, I'm using a nap roller. Let me camera here. I don't want stuff lying in front of the camera. So I'm using just a regular basic nap roller. This is what I'm using. Now you can use a foam roller. If you're using it on glass or really smooth surface, you want a really smooth texture, you can go with a foam roller. Or if you have a huge application, uh, you can use a paint sprayer. But I'm just using a nap roller uh, for this demonstration. As a matter of fact, let me go over here and show you the screen right here. What it looks like. This is my screen right here that I designed. This is the D5K. And let me tell you what the screen's made out of. I went to a thrift store and I got one of those poster boards, you know, when they have the advertisements on the other end. And this is what this is. This is just an everyday um, uh, acrylic uh, poster board that I bought from a thrift store. And I painted it with the D5K. And uh, there's my uh, results right there. Let me back up a little bit here and there. Right, there's my results right there. And I love this paint. This paint is absolutely amazing. All right, so. Let me get my camera strap out of the way. There we go. I think it just went back around. Okay, and I'm just going to paint this really quick. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how fast it is. Anyone can do this. It's really not that hard. And one thing I do like about this paint, the paint is a kind of dark gray, very, very dark gray. But it does come out looking black. Um, just to add, you know, those of you who want to go out and spend $5,000 for a black diamond screen, I don't know why, when you can't see the screen on a 90 degree incline because the screen blacks out. Um, and, and be truthful, they did say the screens were designed for dedicated theaters. Um, I would, uh, I, I, I don't know, I just wouldn't spend that kind of money. Um, basically now this, this paint is a little bit more expensive than the rest of them. Um, it's about 700 something, 780, 789 I think for one quart and um, $989 for two quarts. But the beautiful thing about this is unlike a black diamond that you'll pay um, $5,000 for, for a um, 100 inch um, screen, you can paint up to 150 to 160 for one quart depending on if you use one, one coat or two coats. Um, and with two um, quarts, you can paint up to a 280 inch 16 by 10 wide screen. I doubt you're gonna get a black diamond that big for that price. All right, so I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab the paint so you guys can see it. It's the paint right here. Ooh, sexy. Anyway, so I'm going to put a little bit of this on here real quick. Just a little bit, you'll need a lot. This is why I tell you that you can paint such a large screen because it doesn't require for you to have like a lot of paint in order to do it. I'll put my foot here on the end. You might see my jacked up socks. There I am. Painting the screen in. Piece of cardboard. Now mind you, like I said, you can paint this up on pretty much any surface. So, you know, I'm using cardboard. So, this is going to be my cardboard projector screen. And this one thing I like about the paint. Say if you get a little piece off your roller, you can just wipe it off. Well, I shouldn't put that on my sock, but hey, who cares? And, you know, you don't have to worry about saying, Oh God, I touched my screen, I gotta do the process all over again, like goose screen. You don't have to go through that crap. I think that might have been a little too much. Alright, so, we'll roll it in real quick. Let's try to get that in right here. A little better. It's just a fast job, nothing fancy. Just a fast job. I'll show you guys how easy it is. Nice and 
about it. Let's get this far in over here. Right here, I've got a little piece. I don't know if you guys can see this. Got a little piece right there in the middle. Let's take my hand and just wipe that out. See right there? Wipe that off. Get this camera deck right a little bit here. I don't know if you've seen my jacked up socks. My strap is like, my camera strap is all in my camera. It's all in my freaking focus. But, you know, the video demonstrations I do, I don't do any special effects. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. So I can do this. I can do this all over my screen. It makes no difference. I just roll right over again. And that's the one thing I like about this paint. You can't make any mistakes. It's impossible. You don't have to be a professional to do this. All right, so I'm done. That's it. There's my screen right there. I'm gonna put this over here. All right, there's my screen right here. And I'm gonna go behind me and I'm gonna hit this, hit the screen real quick. So you can see a little demonstration. I'm gonna pick up my cardboard screen. There you go. There's my cardboard screen right there. Now, yeah, it's gonna look a little shiny because you know it's just wet. But that's my cardboard screen. See? Out of cardboard. And let me zoom over here for a quick. I'm using a QME2 projector. Yeah, that's my carton of milk I just got finished drinking. That's a QME2 projector at 300 lumens. Come back over here to see my junky room. And there you go. I painted that in no time at all. And I did that. Uh, hold on for a minute. I got paint all over my hands. I don't want to touch my camera. Turn on my overhead light. Show you something really cool. Now the paint has its own engineer gain. The gain on the paint is called Crystal Onyx Technology. It does not require the 1.1 or 1.2 gain that you'll see um, in a lot of the traditional screens. It's a custom engineer gain. So let me go back over here again. I think the video footage has died. Let's go over here and let's click back over. Sorry, I'm trying to get out of this menu real quick. Go over to some video footage. Yeah, my video footage ran out. Oh, that's an ultimate blooper right there. Enjoy that one. Okay, let's go back up again. There we go. So, we're in a fully lit room. We have about uh, 200 watts of light right here up in the ceiling. And uh, as you can see, the picture quality is really good. And this is cardboard. It's my cardboard screen. And I painted this in no time at all. Now imagine what you could do if you decide to paint this, your whole entire wall with this. It's gonna come out looking gorgeous. And the paint changes color to depending on what surface you paint it on. Now, um, this is cardboard, so cardboard comes up kind of gray on the paint. If I block my projector real quick, come over here, you see it comes up dark gray, almost like a black on this. So as it dries, it gets a little darker, but this is what it's going to look like when it's finally dry. And sometimes on the surface, it, ch it changes. Let me get this camera to focus a little better. It changes due to the, uh, the surface. So the bottom line is uh, you can paint this stuff on anything. You don't have to do any sanding. You, um, you don't have to worry about uh, if your kids come down and put handprints all over it. All you got to do is just repaint over the screen and you're done. It's the most easiest goo kit you will ever have in your entire life. And it will give you outstanding results. Uh, paint is absolutely amazing, as you can see. Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Digital and Crystal Screen Paint. Hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration. Um, hey, if you liked the video, hey, be kind, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Oh, hey, watch it, and sorry about that. Just to let you know, the paint will only be available at um, digital4kcrystalonyx.com. All right, thank you all for watching.